All right, it is March 17th. Nice warmer day, nothing crazy. 2024, start of the season. She's been out of uh, storage for yeah, a day or two, but she was only in for maybe two or three weeks total time between uh, February and, and March uh, because we didn't have a whole lot of snow this year and she only comes off the road if there is salt on the ground. So got her washed today so she's looking particularly shiny and penny here. Can't wait to go to the beach at the end of the day. Uh, no major exterior updates. Uh, the only thing of note since last year is we did the exhaust again and put a, uh, what is it, a Delta 50, uh, I think it's a Flowmaster. It has a nice sound, but not too crazy because it's baffled internally, but no packing. So it won't get any louder or quieter over time. Um, similar volumes, this is a different video, similar volumes to last time. Um, yeah, so nothing really changed on the outside. You know, things get a little older is what it is. Here's the interior. I probably should clean these, uh, get some fabric cleaner, carpet cleaner, and take care of that. You know, headliners doing great, but a couple of spots where people touch things. We got the uh, fold-out chairs or pull-out chairs, and I always keep a... Uh, multi-ton jack just in case uh, but nothing here you know again got seat belts on this chair um, one new thing that I just discovered today while playing with it which I'd never noticed before so obviously we got the the whole setup and I was looking at this and it's like this kind of looks like a grab handle I was like let me see what this is and what do you know I got two more cup holders. <laughs> They're filthy because <laughs> who knows? They could be 40 years of uh, of of unuse. Um, but yeah, no real major interior changes, other than we modified some of these windows so that you can uh, fully open them should you desire, uh, which is a, a nice feature. But you can then put a longer pole uh or yeah post on it so that if you want to have it fully opened up i guess for if you were camping or something like that which again i'm not really the type that uh looks to sleep in the van got some color matched or color green colored food trays those come in handy when you want to have a beachside meal um have worked on the insulation a little bit um I use some window uh, high heat uh, insulation. I put a strips going all the way around and then there's a, a different style right here. It's just nice because it, it cuts down on the gas smell that sometimes happens related to the, the carburetor. I will tighten this up. Um, as you can see, the previous owner made some modification. So it's pretty fairly easy, we'll say, to take apart this. Um, but with the new gasket, you know, some of the work that he did in the past doesn't exactly work. Um, and it didn't work great before. So that said, this thing does not pop off on its own. Keep a tool kit, an extra uh, belt just in case. Um, and then up front, other than, oh, I forgot my iced coffee. What a treat. Uh, no major changes, I think, since last year. Um, still got you know, the, the backup camera, Bluetooth stereo, etc. Uh, all the dash is working well. I sewed the steering wheel at the points of connection, so now the um, rather than doing a full wrap and nonsense, literally I just did 
uh, some deep stitching uh, around the steering wheel right where it has the center support. And so now that doesn't slide around anymore, which it was doing uh, previously. Um, she's running real quiet. There's probably some work that could be done in the glove box to, I bought some felt before to sort of line it just so things are quieter. Yeah, I keep uh, a variety of bits and bobbles in there. Windows are all working great. Mirrors are working great. Over time, I've done stuff where I've got the nylon spacers here just to try to get it a, a little uh, firmer because the, the bolts aren't exactly the right size. Um, and, you know, they can, they, I don't know if it's this side of the other side, tends to make a little bit of weird noise when you close the door hard. Uh, I've also used some some Gorilla Tape and some stuff just to really seal up some of the points. And I think I have some new gasket material uh, in here. Uh, again, I run this, you know, deep into the winter. Uh, so it's not that, you know, uh, part of it's just the airflow and part of it's just making so it doesn't whistle when you're going down the road and when it's cold enough, you know, it's nice to have it as close to uh, airtight as possible. I had to fashion something here. This one's looking like it's getting a little beat, but it works. I mean, again, you can get these triangles, these gaskets, um, they're not inexpensive and the stuff that you can use temporarily kind of takes care of the job for what I'm doing. And this is no, uh, you know, museum piece. I, I suppose I should, I have a, box of screws uh to finish that out this was a an addition from last year that is my windshield wiper reservoir uh i had a glass one but eventually from vibrations it it, <laughs> it cracked a hole in the bottom wore a hole just from uh vibrating enough even though it was like plexiglass and then it started you know peeing everywhere but got the fish and got a, uh, a switch on it that pumps uh, through, the, uh, through the reservoir, through the uh, piping, which I did some new, you know, fresh, uh, you know, fresh uh, nylon or not nylon, whatever it is, uh, tubing. I uh, use like fuel line or something like that, you know, something high temp and whatever, even though it doesn't need it. Uh, and then that switch I talked about is right there. And it's a two direction on, off, on. One side does the pumping to the windows. The other side does a fuel pump that I have in the back. Um, it's just a mini one just to send fuel from the tank all the way you know, up to there's some uh, valves or stoppers or fuel um, check valves uh, just to get it as far up as possible because, you know, these things they tend to once they sit uh cook the fuel and you know vaporize it or send it all the way back to the tank so you know it can be one of those things if you don't have check valves or or something to prime the system you know your startup is a little slower and if your battery is not in the best condition which mine's fresh now um you know it will you can run your battery down uh, pretty quickly uh, you know, and on a cold day, it's going to require some chugging. So we've done that. So that, you know, makes it so that it, you know, again, if I've used it recently, it'll pop start right away. Uh, but if it's been sitting for a while or if it got really hot and you didn't use it for a day or two and all the fuels out of it, that'll make it uh, pop quickly or start up quickly. So I've got these stupid little things on here. Um I just put those on because you know, a lot of these things, they rattle. And so in, in the winter, if you're not using it, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'll start the OCD part of me will get bothered. Uh, new battery, this one barely, well, you know, barely fits. It's about the biggest battery you can get. It's definitely oversized compared to the prior. Uh, so that's fresh. You got a lot of juice, uh, for that, uh, for my needs. Um, 
projects. Main one being have to make some decisions regarding the interior. There's some cleaning that could be done, which I should do. Uh, but I, you know, I like the wood trim and everything like that. Some of these things are getting a little dirty. This got wet in the car wash, so it'll dry. But, you know, it's one of those things where do you take it to the next level? Do you paint the wood sort of beech wood white and, and then go with an ocean theme or leave it how it is or, you know, leave it alone and be grateful that, you know, you got a pretty okay deal on this, all things considered, and just use it, which I do. Um, or do you go full Kermit and put some new carpet in and go nuts? Um, you know, and go, uh, you know, golfer green or, or something, uh, which again would be cool, but maybe not. Jesus. Um, would be cool, but maybe not the well, weird. So he's got like a megaphone. Um, you know, makes it less desirable uh, to, to maybe a general market if I needed to sell, which again, uh, I'm not going to say I'd live in this before selling it, but this would be one of the last possessions I had that would sell. Um, and obviously, the you know, carpet's getting a, a bit warm. I'm an idiot for not, you know, cutting some uh, some custom uh, floor mats to just, you know, be a little more cautious. I might just go that route because um, it's seen some shit uh, over, over the years um, and it's getting worn. Uh, Although it's one of those things, you know, once you pull it up, you got to deal with whatever's under it. And it, it feels like, like you got the butyl stuff. So, um, uh, as I was saying before, the accountant called, uh, you know, it, it feels like it's, there's the butyl backed insulation on the ground too which is nice i always keep a fire extinguisher nearby one of those things you know if you get a little fire if you can't do anything about it you know kind of sucks whereas a lot of times if you can catch it early um but yeah so that's a project i'm happy with the 3.23 diff um happy with the exhaust and how that sounds i guess we'll fire it up why not cold out so not loud either it just has a, a nice sound to it yeah and I got a regular size starter so I mean all that battery and all that juice it did it, it turns um, happy with you know relatively everything you know there's always the desire to clean up the wiring a little more um, Yeah, I don't know. Not a, not a whole lot to do. Um, there are a couple of, you know, spots. You know, again, I don't know when the last time this thing was painted. But, you know, the drip rail is notoriously the spot where you run into issues. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. But, you know, yeah, a little something here. A lot more something there. I usually treat the stuff on and off through the season just to make sure it doesn't expand. Um, yeah, and I'll probably, these, the chrome was not the best they've been, although they also live outside. Um, uh, I will probably swap these for LEDs internally. I think they've just got some halogens in them. Uh, and those I use as my flashers. I got this, uh, well, I'll spoil the surprise. I got this button here. So anybody who stuck around to the end of the video, I'm gonna make a shorter one, but put this button here. You know, your go baby go button and you do that. And let's see if I, see if I can reach. Can you see? Tap, tap, 
tap, tap. Nice, just as flashers rather than, you know, pulling and pushing that. So, um, I might put, you know, LEDs in that because they're not that bright. Uh, and they're rigged to the power side so they don't come on as suddenly um, as if you just had the uh, the ground disconnected. So, anywho, little things. Other thing to consider would be doing disc brakes up here. I know one of the companies that did does them, they're out of business. Or the uh, the AJ no um, Scarebird or Scarbird or Scarecrow or hello uh, are done and so yeah it's probably smart to just buy a kit regardless get those done and then the question is you got a nice dent in the tank there um, yeah I got this. Uh, strut bar, um, sway bar back here. Uh, but then the question is, and don't look at that. That's, that's not a professional way to deal with excess. Um, is if I wanted to put a tow hitch, even for just a bicycle, how would we go about doing that? Um, and then there does look like there's stuff off the bumper here that you could possibly just come off those bolts off the other side of that or extend, or where are we at? Those ones right in the center. Drop something down and then have uh, you know some sort of hitch system for bicycles or whatever. You couldn't actually pull a trailer with it. But if you wanted to be able to pull a trailer, you'd have to go into the frame. And so something to consider. But it's, you know, how much money are you going to spend to convert to disc brakes so that you can tow on hills and not worry about cooking the brakes? And, you know, for the how many times a year would you actually use it towing anything with your 60s van? So... That's kind of where I'm at. I'm, I'm really happy with, with all of it. Yeah, I'm sure I'll do little projects here and there, but she's about as done and, and as perfect for someone who actually wants to put miles down every year and go from there. So, hope this was helpful. Hope it uh, inspired some ideas. Um, you know, this was already in pretty great shape to begin with, and we're just going to take care of it and do little things and... Figure out the rest.